Hey, Dr. Monkey here, and welcome back to WWE 2K18, my career mode. It's a new episode. Just chilling backstage with my good friend Dana Brooke. And, let's see, I won a battle royal last episode. So I should have a story now. Something should be happening. I honestly have no idea what it's going to be. Will I start having more of a character than just what I've written for myself? Will I stop being a tweener and be fully a heel like I want to be? I have no idea. Oh, the event. Okay. <clears throat> Great promo segment. I want to throw you into a new promo tonight. Already after my last one, I literally just did a promo. Yeah, I think it'll solidify the aura of energy buzzing around the WWE universe. Let's make it a good one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna win a promo. It means someone's gonna come out and yell at me. Will I finally get a rival? Oh, like, I mean, Sammy's dead, so we don't know where Sammy is. But, like, I've been trying to play heelish, but it's been hard because they haven't given me opportunities to be a heel. All my backstage stuff has just been me being like, yo, I said I'd side with the authority, but... I'm frustrated because you guys treat me like crap. And it's really weird where they give you the opportunity, like, do you want to side with the authority? And you could say yes. And then the authority is just like, nah, we hate you. And you're like, I sided with you. I don't understand. So maybe something will make sense today, but it's Raw, so probably not. Raws don't make sense. It's not how Raw works. What do you think this is? Smackdown? The superior show? Don't at me. <laughs> Means you, Jillian. If you're watching, don't at me. <laughs> or come at me, bro. Either one. I don't know. I don't care. Smackdown the A show. Okay. Yeah, you read the card. He ain't messing around. Cole is so fed up with me anytime I do anything. Oh, he's talking! Oh my goodness. It's like, yeah, Cole. Of course he is. What do you think would happen? Yeah, give me in that ring. Hello. Okay. I'm gonna actually have to pay attention. Uh. Okay. Ugh, oh, not a good start. In Dante's Inferno, the only way out of hell is through. For me, the only way to proclaim myself champion is by trudging through every battle, not stopping till I'm out on the other side. I have a long climb, perhaps the longest I've ever known ahead of me. I'm taking each step as I meet it head on. Someone's coming out, aren't they? Well, I get a feud with Sheamus? He was in the Battle Royal. Was he the last one I eliminated? I can't remember. Either way, sure, I'll feud with Seamus, but he's a heel right now, and did he just throw his sweat on the camera? <laughs> sweat b Go, sweat attack! Ah, oh, you can't see me, fella! Sweat attack! I hope I didn't offend anyone there. I definitely did. Fella! <laughs> Good job, Cole. This honestly, there are many things that could happen here. They could talk. They could hug. Perhaps they'll do a little jig. What up, Shamus? You, you're completely fake, fella. You don't mean anything that you've been saying tonight, fella. Just blabbering that you think the WWE Universe wants to hear, fella. Know what they really want, fella, the truth, fella. And tonight, fella, I'm going to give them the undiluted truth about you. One of the most fake superstars to come here, fella. Oh, the fellas are everywhere. Ooh. Hey, weren't you the first guy to go over the rope? No way. It couldn't have been you. If it was, I don't know how you could have swaggered out here after such an embarrassingly abysmal performance. So you're one of those no-name children I threw into timeout last week. You looking for your bottle? You, you big Irish baby? I, I, maybe I shouldn't have brought... Exactly Listen to him, fella. Fella, 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 
Fella, you fella, 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 effort necessary to achieve greatness, fella, 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 where is your shame, fella? Seamus, I think you're only saying fella. Okay, kind of a bonus. Go check the tapes. The honest can go back and look. Has there ever been a time when I wasn't truthful? Yes. Every night I come out here, I'm giving it my all. And my all? That includes being honest to myself and the people around me. Stood out last week. An amazing and memorable match. That totally didn't get rewound so many times. What a vulture, this guy. I saw your methods last week. You wait until some others had weakened another superstar, then use that advantage to pick them off yourself. Not false. <laughs> there you go, swooping on down, winning their hard work. Pathetic. But I get it, I get it. Going face to face with a fella, you'd lose hard. Oh. Um. No one cares. Ooh, nice combo. Dude, no one in this arena cares about anything you have to say. Who wants to listen to a loser whine? Hey, everybody, you want to listen to this loser? You don't? Are you sure? Pretty fun hearing him stumble and lick his own wounds. Seriously, fella. Go and vent in your... Okay. Just don't even let me flourish. Seems to be a sole victor of a battle royal. Do you do what you did? Run away from the heat of the action. Hope no one notices you cowering in the corners. The real superstars are the ones who dive straight into the mix. They don't size up their many opponents. They get in there, get their hands dirty. Fella. Look, you desperately need to go backstage and ask someone anyone with talent and patience to take off your training wheels for you to stand a chance against the real superstars cut and run from that amateur attitude of yours learn what true effort is start sweating real training begins now okay last word oh yes combo free advice for you get out of the ring right now don't return until you can be assured of an actual win. If you can't find that, get yourself back to NXT, fella. And then the Performance Center, and then back home to hide in shame. The only fight you can win is making yourself look childish. Spoilers, you won. This place is electric yeah. That get you fired up. Not sure what will. I guess we see who the true fella is, fella. Oh, he looks like he's gonna great white shark me. He just looks baffled. Yeah, eat that. Tried to be smarmy a jerk. I hope it worked. I mean, Seamus is most often a tweener. Even when he's a super heel, he's a tweener. <clears throat> Sorry. Little gunky. I've been very busy lately. Traveling. Working a lot. You know how it gets. And then, gotta record these. So, really gives my throat a workout. But I do it for you, my loving fans. I, I, it's all for you, fans. Oh no, stop playing this song. It's... I don't like this version. Ah, oh, Todd, that's my haircut. I just realized. It's like my real life haircut. But garbage. Nicely, nicely done, man. That was well done. You said done twice. Um... We won't. I'm gonna be smarmy. If you can't dress in sharp cuts, make sure your tongue can. What does that even mean? I'm sure that's an insightful and pithy thing to say, but I gotta admit, man. Strange image. Yeah. Honestly, for once, Mandroid, I'm agreeing with you. I have no idea what I just said. But I think the WWE Universe is latching onto you. Hoops of steel and all that. I don't know what that means. You'll be alright. Keep doing you. Okay. I, is this legit just the end of the episode? I just cut a promo and that's it? Are you serious? Like, with the loading times in this and everything, the fact that that's all they have you do is in story mode is kind of frustrating. 
Bo, are we still buddies? Hey, Bo. Ooh, your face got wrinkly for a second. I breathe WWE. I dream WWE. I live WWE. But also it means the same to you. Get priority straights. Get the hell out of my way. Oh, Bo. We we're buddies. I know we were in that battle royal, but it was nothing personal. You're really serious right now, Bo. I do have to say, like, not compared to right now, because he's doing very well right now in actual WWE, I know. He lost his title recently, but it doesn't matter. He's on the show. But, like, in this timeline, in this universe, he's actually in a lot of matches and getting a lot of showcase. He's, like, upper mid-card in this. Which, yeah. Good job. Good job, Bo. I believe in Bo. I always have. He's a beautiful man. A beautiful person. Alright, what do we got next? I'm gonna do a double episode on this just because, like, a promo? That's all? That's not an exciting episode. I know I'm gonna now get in a long match and I'm gonna go over. Um, but, I mean, come on. Does anyone want to watch, like, a promo episode? Okay, what's up, Mandroid? Why do you always stop me? Hey, did you have... Did any of the executives talk to you yet? No, what's up? Am I fired? We had a meeting earlier. They want you to do a match tonight, and when you win, cut a promo right after. Okay, so it's gonna be a double? I might actually then split this one up into two episodes. Um... Yeah, promo apocalypse. Promo apocalypse this whole month. I'm pumped. Okay, I'm not that pumped. That's good. Go out there with that creativity. Do what you have to. Ooh, kill a man. Got it. <laughs> you got it, Todd. I don't know what to say, Triple H. Todd told me to kill a man, so I just shot him. No one's used a gun before. Should work. Don't you think so, Seth? Seth. Oh, Roman also nodded. Roman's like, yeah. Use a gun. Use a gun, dog. Thanks, Roman. Miz would use a gun. Actually, no. M Miz wouldn't use a gun. You can't really cheat with a gun. You can't be like, oh, I won that fair and square. You shot him. Nah. Ooh, I'm fighting Sheamus already? Thought I was gonna have a rivalry. The best talent versus Sheamus. Not the best talent, I guess? I won't skip his entrance right away because, as you know, I love it. It's a banger. Let's do it. Okay. I'll skip my entrance because you guys know I'm not a fan of it. But I don't have time to fix it. Oh, I'm going to get attacked. I can't skip. Yep. You killed Dick Warrior. Seamus is here. Nope. This is not a ma- oh, I mean, that makes sense. Come on. I forgot what right is. I forgot what the right button is. What? Come on. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna break your arm, Shamoose. Yeah. Nice. I don't remember what does what. Oh, right. Come on, I'm gonna knee your head. You're gonna attack me? Me? I don't think so, Shamoose. Ooh, nice. Going for the double play with this move. And the strike connects. I don't come on, Seamus. Oh yeah. The only move I know how to do. Yeah. Good job. Nice try. You tried to get vengeance for the promo. Can't stop me, man. You're just gonna look weak. I'm just gonna bury you, son. Now I'm gonna cut a promo on your little attack. I'm gonna be like, he's an idiot. Like, 
he tried to attack me, and I literally turned. I don't think I've ever. That's not true. Let me know in the comments about times in WWE where an attacker comes out to attack, and they totally get routed, like completely, but without help from an outside assistance, without like someone else coming to route them. But the person they attack just kind of turns it around real easy. Please write in the comments, uh, suggest like times it's happened because I can't think of any right now, and I, I'd be curious. Because I don't think it's something that happens often because it makes the attacker look weak when they can't even attack or hurt the person they're hitting. Sorry about that. I had no idea that was going to happen. I don't believe you. Yeah. Angry. Come on, dude. You had one job. Get it together, you faulty mandroid. Cool your jets, Ace. I ain't omnipresent. I am just a bot that can analyze 10 trillion outcomes. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm saying. Oh, you are right. Anyway, he rushed through the production area and on out there. But hey, I think we can still salvage this, though. Oh, oh. It's like, why isn't it interacting? Oh, right, my computer is freaking out. How? I recommend talking with Renee and speaking your mind. Easiest way to flip public perception. What? How would they flip perception? Oh right, because when you get attacked in this game, no matter whether you win or not, the storyline's always, oh, you're weak because you got attacked, not, I won. The public perception should be, Seamus tried to attack me and I beat the crap out of him. But you are apparently in a very faulty mandroid. But okay, this means this won't be that long of an episode, which is good. And we get Renee time. Renee! Unless, is he gonna attack me here? Is he not gonna give up? Ooh. Renee, you get your own loading screen. I hope you feel good about that. I mean, I feel happy for you. Let's talk about what happened out there tonight. What is going through your head after that again? That vicious attack from behind today was, wasn't really vicious. Um. Yeah. People have this disgusting tendency of wanting to take the easy path, and those kinds of people are prone to rabid jealousies. So when someone like me is on top of their game, these people get jealous. If he truly had the ability, composure, and drive to make it big, he'd focus on himself. Instead, he focuses on me, tries to get in my way, and thinks being dishonorable can stop me. It won't. I'm better than that. And the action continues this there you have it. What action? Cole. Did you forget your medicine today? Are, are you... It's okay, Cole. Cole just wakes up. He's like, where, where am I? Where's Jerry Lawler? It's like, it's okay, Cole. Put him back in his trance. Oh, and I guess that was it. This is a very eventfully uneventful episode. One last thing to check. Oh, <gasps> Seamus is still not my rival. I don't. I don't. I just don't. Well, anyway, at least it feels like there's more of a story direction than the past few months, so we'll see where it goes. So, just thanks for watching, and catch next episode, and I will see you all later, fella! Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Hit like if you enjoyed it, and if you want to check out more gameplay highlights and future content, make sure to subscribe down below. Catch you later!